Welcome back to One Stable TV! And you should do Irish Couple Reacts. And do stay tuned because this happens every week. So if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of these videos. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you! Thanks for joining us for another react! So Danielle, what are we reacting to on Unstable TV? So today we are going to be looking at the most expensive house in the world. And this was a suggestion from... Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> The most expensive home on the planet. In the inner city of Mumbai, India, not far ah, from Mumbai. the slums, on the renowned Altamont Road, stands Antilia, the most expensive home ever created. This is this is home I'm that really apologies if I'm not. That's a sign. In technical is... terms, the home is the second most expensive residential property in the world, considering Buckingham Palace oh. is worth around five billion US dollars. Wow. However, Buckingham Palace is considered a crown property, whereas Antilia is a private residence. And the most expensive private residential property at that, with some pricing estimates as high as two billion dollars. Even still, any list in which a residence is preceded by Buckingham Palace pretty much guarantees that place is going to be over the top luxurious <laughs> with a house I'd love to move into. In this video, I'll take you on a virtual informative tour of this ostentatious estate while engaging all of two of your senses. In this massive home, there are oh, several too. ceilings that are double or triple heighted, so the 27 floored skyscraper looks more like a 50 or 60 floored building. Can you imagine only being as tall as an ordinary 27 floor building? <laughs> <laughs> On some of the lower floors, there is a multi level car lot that can hold 168 vehicles, including the precious RS5 Craw Maybach, a car for very important people. Somewhere we have one on car lot, <laughs> <also a> car <laughs> service station. But if cars aren't your style, don't worry. The home also has three helipads. Oh, oh three? That's, you that's, that's you know. Only like more than one helipad oh, three. on the roof. Both the private car lot and helipads are violations of residential laws in, the in Mumbai, but from what we can tell, no one has forced the billionaire's hand to make any changes. Makes it seem much money. Lot, you'll yeah. find an extravagant lobby composed of nine elevators. Further up is a two-story recreation center with a lap pool, a gym, Ooh. a juice bar, a dance studio, and a yoga studio. Floors nice. like these are how Jeff Bezos transformed his I sell books body to his I sell what I want physique. <laughs> you will eventually run into a spa and a ballroom. The ballroom is adorned with multiple crystal chandeliers that cover 80% of the ceiling, leaving a shameful 20% exposed and unadorned. To capitalize on the entertainment focus areas of the home, there's a movie theater that sits 50 viewers. There are multiple Amazing. balconies and terraces with luscious gardens hanging over the sleek facade along the home. The vegetation attached to the sides of the building are meant to absorb sunlight in order to keep the interior as cool as possible. Hopefully, oh, that's that pretty smart. put a dent in what must be a monstrous electricity bill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wasn't yeah, we've seen it was a hundred grand. A month? Yeah. The home comes fitted with an ice room equipped with oh, a snow generator. Yes. Meant to mimic a winter wonderland, a creation rivaled <laughs> only by the likes of Willy Wonka. The immaculate structure was designed by architects Perkins and Will out of Chicago, and the interior design was overseen by an Australian company called Light and Holdings. While the 400,000 square foot Ooh. building is home to just six, it's also meant to make room for a staff of That's ridiculous. Books, cleaners, and security personnel. So that makes what the size of the mansion less excessive, right? I double checked that stat, by the way, and I can confirm a hundred staff per family member. The building is named after a legendary, Excuse me. also called the Isle of the Seven Cities. 
The tale of this island originates from an old Liberian legend in which bishops fleeing from the Muslim conquest of Hispania escaped to an island and created seven settlements there. There's not much else on that fun fact, and no one seems to know why the owners of the home took to that fabled island, but that's the thing with being a billionaire. No one questions your decisions. Considering the unique shape of the skyscraper and the fact that its construction cost not six, not seven, not eight, but ten figures, it'd be a fair assumption to presume the design of the home is symbolic, or at least, you know, on purpose. And that assumption would be correct. This incredible structure was meticulously crafted with Hindi influence and generously laced with religious symbolism. Of Within course. Within the 27 mm. stories, there are six sections of the home that are meant to reflect earth, water, fire, air, sound. Oh, and uh, very good. These elements were placed from bottom to top as to mimic not Nickelodeon's avatar, the last airbender. But the <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. There are two reoccurring motifs the sun and the lotus. These symbols are meant to represent rebirth. The materials used to stand for these themes include marble, crystal, and none other than mother of pearl. There is a temple in the home in which the family of six goes to pray regularly. There are many statues of Hindu deities throughout the home, including the Hindu god Ganesh, revered as the remover of obstacles, Ooh. and Shiva, the Hindu deity who destroys to make way for new creation. Along with religious themes and the motifs of Lotus and Sun, the house is said to have been inspired by the Atlantic Ocean. The owner of the $2 billion home is Hi. Mukesh Ambani, a petroleum titan, chairman of Reliance Industries and, surprise surprise, the richest man in India. Mukesh is responsible for a fifth of India's exports, which is absolutely outrageous. A fifth? That is crazy. A third of the Earth's population. Mukesh's father created a business that turned into the world's biggest producer of polyester fibers and yarns. Mukesh multiplied his inheritance oh. many times over to become one of the richest men in all of Asia. For years, <laughs> yeah, <that's right>. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The <laughs> richest people in the world. And during one surge in India's stock market in 2007, he was believed to be the richest man on the planet. But as of recently, he sits comfortably at the 20th spot. Mukesh is worth 40.1 billion US dollars and is 61 years old. Did someone ask for a list of the richest people on the planet? Okay, here it is. Number one. <laughs> yes, apparently yes, we did. Number two. Bill Gates, Microsoft. Number three, Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway. Number four, Bernard Arnault, Louis Vuitton. Number five, Amancia Ortega, Zara. This is obviously a bit different now. Carlos yeah. Slim Hello and family. Number seven, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Number eight, Larry Ellison, Oracle. Number nine, Larry Page, Alphabet, co-founder of Google. Number ten, Charles Koch, oh. Koch Industries. Number 11, David Koch. You guessed it, Koch Industries. Number 12, Sergey Brin, Google. Number 13, Michael Bloomberg, Bloomberg. Number 14, Ma Huateng, Tencent Holdings. Number 15, Jim Walton, Walmart. Number 16, Rob Walton, Walmart. Number 17, Walmart. Alice yeah. Walton, Walmart. Number 18, <laughs> Balmer, Microsoft. Number 19, Francois Betancourt Myers. I'm just going to say Walmart again. L'Oreal. Number 20, and our guy, Mukesh Ambani. Ah, we just love lists here at Mr. Luxury. As you might have noticed <laughs> on the list, Mukesh is one of only two individuals from Asia to earn a spot on the list. Mumbai is the commercial capital of India. I thought he'd be number one, I don't know why. Mm. I'm pretty sure it is more now because the list is obviously jigged around a bit since this. Already taken. This city is also home to the entertainment industry in India, so it's commonly known as Bollywood, yet another thing they ripped from the United States. While the city is home to the world's most expensive house, it's unfortunately also home to the world's largest slum. The popular film Slumdog Millionaire was set in Mumbai. The public reception of the house's creation has been harsh at best. 
I believe offending neighbors comes standard when you're creating a home worth over a billion dollars. But there is certainly warrant for any offense taken in this particular case, I must admit. While the house was built on the richest stripe of land in the city, it's hard to not notice the contrast in a city like Mumbai, with such depths of poverty yeah, just blocks away. Yeah. Gion Prakash told the New York Times in 2010 that the home is in a way reflective of how the rich are turning their faces away from the city. In Mumbai, 40% of children That's a good way to push me. Yeah, it is, absolutely. are underweight. The gap between the rich and the poor oh, is no. as stark and vast here as any other place in the world. Still, there are some that bring up the charitable acts of the Ambani family, which include the creation of a hospital. When discussing the moral responsibilities of the family, not to mention numbers of the philanthropic ventures, specifically by Nita Ambani, Mukesh's wife. Which is great and all, but no one is going to ignore the gargantuan mansion towering over the city. Yeah, or is Mukesh's indulgences other than the mansion. Years before the creation of Antilia, Mukesh bought his wife an air bus for her birthday for $60 million. He had the passenger yeah. jumbo jet refitted with Where's my air bus? That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's outrageous. Unlike most families worth billions, the Ambani family owns just the one home as opposed to the expected just the one home. home around the globe. Do you want a service day? Initially, the family shared a house with Mukesh's mother and brothers. But after Mukesh's father yeah, passed away, house, so so? he decided to break the bank on the 400,000 square foot home. The children of Mukesh and Nita all studied at universities in the States. Isha, the eldest daughter, recently graduated from Yale. Her twin brother, Akash, and younger brother, Arnat, both graduated from Brown University. Not that I'm in any position to judge Mukesh as a father, but it's nice to see he raised three Ivy Leaguers. That's pretty much yeah. all I've got on Antilia and the Ambani family. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to <laughs> like and subscribe. Pip pip de doodly do. Well, uh, poor stuff. Big shout out to Mr. Luxury. That was a well put together video. Brilliant commentary and very informative. Mm -hmm. So shout out to him. Um, what did you think of that? That's outrageous. Especially considering the fact that where he built it yeah. is slums. Yeah, overlooking it. Yeah, could have built it somewhere else. But no, chose there. Really is the definition of looking from your ivory tower. Imagine you only spent one billion on it and you used one billion to fix the area around it. No. <laughs> That's asking too much. Yeah, no, hang on no. Hang on no. You done a service, okay? He only he only has one house. Never mind the slums around it. You just bought one house, okay? And he set up a hospital, even though, you know, it could have donated a bit more and helped everyone out. Like, okay, set up a hospital is still a good thing. But, does anybody need a $2 billion house? No. For, especially for six people. We're only debating and discussing here. So, yeah, they are, they make their own money. It's their own fortune. They're allowed to do as they wish for. But no. come on. Yeah, obviously, look, we'd love to share more opinions on this. You know, get down to it. If I, you guys know, you get banned from it. But, if you ever do want more, yeah, you can look in our description box below and you'll find our social medias. Message us there. Yeah, and we'll have a chat with you. Mm -hmm. Or uh, if you want us to make members only videos where we discuss a bit more in depth, let us know as well and we'll go in. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and you can look at it as well that it's good that they're hiring 600 people. But then on the other hand, are they hiring 600 people from the slums? Or right. are they just mailing them from somewhere yeah. to there? Are they being vetted? and only if they come from a certain background yeah. do we, does everyone get equal opportunity is the real question now we're not taking away from you know any innovation or any hard yeah. work the family have done but at the end of the day it's awful to hear about five year olds on their way in yeah. the slums like that's disgusting i think it's where it is as well as the, the horrible part it's um, hard to see really yeah it's especially when the wild cap is the enormous. biggest in the whole world if you live around this tower, maybe you walk around there, or maybe you study around it. Let us know what it's like from your perspective, not from like you know a media point of view. Like we want to hear the people on the ground. If you are watching us and you found this video, comment and let us know down below. We'd love to talk to you and have a chat. Yeah, or oh, let us know because we don't know too much about him. Like what? Because we know he does a lot of charitable work. Yeah. But like what exactly is it, and what has he helped? Yeah. Because that's another side that we need to look at too. Yeah. Where like we want to know 
is there any anything you could send us a link as to or any videos that could show where he does a lot more work for the slums or helps them out in some way like they only set a hospital in this but you know he's working with the information he yeah, has there could, be, there could be more that we don't know about yeah so if anyone can give us any insight please do let us know down below we'd love to hear from you the list of billionaires there has changed since and that's all i have to say <laughs> So as always, you are the beautiful people of YouTube and we have been on Stable TV. So drop a comment below and let us know what you thought of this reaction video. And if you have any suggestions for us to do, let us know too. And as always, we will see you.